uh, in my opinion, the Yatra was never meant to result in instant gratification. Um, mm. I think we need to factor in one reality. Politics is a game of patience. Now, I'm not saying that patience means that you basically imbibe failure every time you go to the hustings. I don't mean that at all. I think every time there's an election, a political party must work, burn the midnight oil to win it. But having said that, I mean, you know, I do believe that there are two uh, data points that will probably be relevant here in the conversation. Number one, where Rahul Gandhi is concerned and the Congress is concerned, because they are both inextricably intertwined, if I can use that cliche, uh, the base level of, I think, uh, the, the confidence level of the public will rise. I think I see the minimum level, which was like at a very abysmal level, that will definitely see a rise. I think whatever numbers you're seeing at the moment are organic. And in whenever yatras are held, etc., please remember L.K. Advani's famous Rath Yatra, it yeah. was not just an epos- a very episodic uh, kind of an event. It became the talking point, became the political narrative that eventually put... I mean, you didn't answer my question. Have you, have you withdrawn your belief that Priyanka should replace Rahul as the leader of the Congress? I, I actually haven't, and I'll tell you why. I think Rahul Gandhi makes a good ideological, a moral crusader or an ideological ambassador for the Congress. You know, there are a lot of people in the Congress who definitely see him as a future prime ministerial candidate. But I would still request the Congress to decouple Rahul from the prime ministerial position. Well, Jer- you see, well I- you'd, be glad, you'd be glad to know that Jairam Ramesh did exactly that today. Uh, let me just bring in uh, Tavleen before I go back to Yeshwan for the next set of numbers. Tavleen, you said you had to eat crow. Uh, have you really had to eat crow? Uh, you said the yatra you thought was a waste of time. What is the what is the benchmark of its success? Pratap Bhanu Mehta called it uh, in the same Indian Express where you also write a very popular column, a journey without a destination. He said there were some good things emerging from it, but it was not clear what the mission of this yatra is. And listening to Jairam Ramesh today, are you clearer on what its mission is? Well, I can never understand what Jairam Ramesh means. I think he talks you know, from both sides of his mouth, so I don't know. And I don't want to comment on him. But I will say that I actually thought that, and I believe that until the Congress party rebuilds its infrastructure, its organizational structure, they can continue to do this branding of Rahul Gandhi till the cows come home. And it, you know, in my view, it's not going to make an electoral difference because, you know, they're not there on the ground. You know, you go into a village, you see the BJP everywhere. You see, uh, you don't see the Congress party. So, you know, once the Yatra moves on and, you know, this in India, you can get people together. You know, if you have even a picnic, sorry, I don't believe that it's been a picnic, but because he hasn't run off on some foreign trip for the past however many days it is, that's already a sign that he's being taken. Secondly, he's projected a kind of, you know, he's actually touched the weakest point of the BJP, in my view, which is they've spread a lot of hatred. They've divided communities. And he has said, you know, I mean, he made it sound like a Hindi movie, but he's right. He said, you know, nafrat ke bazaar mein mein ki dukaan khol you know, mm-hmm. that it is vital that India brings back that harmony that we have lost. 